What's up guys, this is the Rosemont and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So, to round off where we left off, we are attacking Warsaw with one of our armies that has remained in position. This army to the north having been pummeled quite severely, but still coming out victorious in a river battle. And this garrison has been mauled, generally. There's lots of troops that are, they're a bit knackered, but they have no artillery, so should be a fairly simple order to see them off. So let's attack. And with the capture, I'll end up having no Prussian borders or no Prussian um, settlements near the frontier. So these armies to the north will end up moving east and setting up near the Russian border, ready for a British Barbarossa style operation. And we've got poor weather. So, as per usual, there's not a lot of. Decent terrain to drop artillery on. So, four, five, a fairly standard formation. So then let's pick up our. Well, these are not great position. Wet powder makes misfires a certain bit. Then let's split up the Colchian guards and have them. With the unit of rifles in support for the, on the right flank. Then we've got a couple of units on the left that look like they're in they're in a good spot. There. Put dragoons and light dragoons on the left in the woods. One unit of dragoons on the right. Whichever one in the centre. Houses that are currently unlimited, but it depends what they do. Infantry make a good thick Meh. Oh, okay, they're, yeah, they're coming right at us. Um, and there's not really any super good positions up north to actually worry about taking. Let's put my rifleman out on the flank to deploy stakes. But yeah, there isn't really any useful terrain. I mean, there is terrain, obviously, it's, it's high ground in the center, but there's no, there is no real useful features. I'm going to need to be careful with my infantry because we've got so much artillery, they are capable of outflanking us. So let's unlimber my howitzers. So what cavalry units are on the flank? Guard dragoons. Which I will chew up with my cavalry. They're, they're, no, the troops are running. Let's bring my rifles back to the main force. Bring out my cavalry. Let's move this cavalry out on the flank. Because these chaps could be in for a bit of a shock. Oh, there's a crater there. Oh, okay. It's confused. I thought they didn't have any artillery, do they? So let's. Hmm, sorry, do I just smash straight into their infantry? Nope. Two musketeer units, and in the end, my riflemen will end up retreating. Artillery. You have the Swiss Grenadiers, you have this unit coming right at us. God damn. The wall of my house is not firing earlier. Brunswick sharpshooters on the flank. They're deploying stakes back there, which is good. Makes chasing them down a bit problematic. It's not terrible Artillery position. Reporting. So even though they're out of canister range, they will soon get within canister range. And the rifles have begun engaging foot units. So where's the where is they? The cavalry the cavalry's drawn back. No, I don't do that. 
instead we'll probably have to do something like this. Get them to run. Because a lot of massed firepower coming our way. It's the same as this flank too. The Brunswickers have disappeared. So they're probably in the trees, just stationary. So my cavalry only gets the musketeers. Charge. Bring the cavalry into the center. Artillery reported. We're gonna have to engage. I presume the cavalry charge elsewhere are less effective. Good. It's a breakthrough. Our men are running for. Yeah, they're just our gunners. Two, so my foot guard regiments charge on in. These guys are a bit sheepish. The Dragoon guards go in and go for the general. The is calling the same for the flank, so slightly pivot around. Position. Get these gunners that survived back to manning their guns. Smash straight into the background because. Musketeers have broken. Dragoon guards are probably going to break. I got the musketeers and the Brunswickers and the um, Brunswick sharpshooters though with my cavalry. Yep, cavalry's retreating. Our men are running. So this goes up on the hill. Which cavalry troopers are this? Have you been charged here? Yeah. Armed citizenry? Yes. Excellent how it's a shot there, so. Rampaging through the rear areas. You charge the armed citizenry. Rifles still engaging on favourable terms. Even more favourable once this foot guard unit is. Oh, poor chap. It's one of mine. All well, my dragoons being poorly handled. Enforcements, that's okay. Let's leave these guys coming back on their guns.
charge and general stab. Keep my cavalry charging on. Or some of my cavalry charging on at least. So then let's pick some of my infantry. Form up a line again. Another guy on musketeers. Ooh, reform infantry behind our lines. Swift about face. They're going to continue being picked up by my rifles because they have the range. He's going to shoot a wave. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Ordered. The rifleman, the rifleman can retire. This infantry take up position on this. This ridge line with this little raised piece of land. Cavalry being shot to pieces. We're still having a good time chasing them down. Let's get the best of bayonet charge. These dragoons that are heavily weakened. Should get there before you. These are Landwehr garrison. Strong Landwehr garrison, though. So, some infantry support would be beneficial. Okay, let's bring some of my cavalry back. Tree to help cover the guns. Dragoon guards. Well, we can actually move them up, I suspect. Just to fire wall back on the Prohouses, both get them to aim at that unit of infantry there. Let's move them up. Actually, these four, these four will do. Set my cavalry just to keep charging and keep doing good. I have to go for them instead. And let's speed up time, especially if it's just these two remaining troops waiting. Let's move you guys out to one side into the trees. Run them up at high speed, pick up my cavalry to charge into this rearmost unit. We're already wavering. As you would expect. Well, that's the end of the battle. They routed when this troop broke. Excellent. Heroic victory for Henry Paget. Okay, the a, a Polish state. So associate is dead. The, oh, the Duchy of Warsaw, Warsaw. That's who we created. Because I don't need the money. Don't need the buildings. Liberate. Excellent stuff. So you have some troops that may be of use. We're still replenishing friendly territories. So you, Henry Paget, can come up and take this bridge and this army when it's replenished which you cannot do for some reason oh yeah no I mean it's not replenishing for some reason oh it's probably because the drill school is broken you will take position at this bridge and then Frederick Adam you will move up and secure this plane uh, Captain Lemberg will secure this passage through north of the Carpathian Mountains. 
you are there. Wellesley is in a holding pattern waiting for a Russian war. James English Hamilton, move back to friendly territory and probably try recruit a unit of dragoons. Okay, so let's pick. I think, I think it's now time. Yeah, they're recruiting units. Let's pick Alexander, Alexander Abercrombie. Ooh, that's what she's got. Oh, is this one of the special Prussian generals? Could be. I don't know what their name is. I'll maintain for now. Oh, our research is cracking on. New nation arises, the Duchy of Warsaw, because they're brilliant. We might actually auto resolve this one just to quickly Victory end it. And we will occupy Munich. I need to create more. I need more generals, really. That's just gen fundamentally what I need. This army will probably end up moving to Strasbourg to get an army together to watch on Switzerland. Because that'd be a big old battle. Henry Paget got a siege reward. Yeah. He's over here now. The grasp of the shovel. Good stuff. Okay. Let's hit end turn. Oh yes, I need to go check on the armies being recruited in Britain. Because as of yet, they do not have a role. Ooh, okay, I'm, okay, Budapest is... Oh, this is going to be a big old battle. Interesting. I want to play this very defensive, so it's fine. It's probably the biggest battle I've played in Napoleon yet, I think. So let's turn on that. Some pop. Okie dokie. So God, it's a very wide front. But luckily we've not got much cavalry ourselves, so Still a bad idea in this game. Three, four, five. Because we're going to want, want to absolutely abuse our cannons so, so we don't run out of too much of our infantry ammunition. You chaps will. Deployed behind barricades. So let's pick two foot units, a Brunswicker, two Dutch, um, two British Dutch brigade, British Dutch line infantry, form new lines. So these guys near the middle can go behind trenches. These guys further out can have their cavalry defences. Then these chaps with their other guns. These other chaps can deploy with a similar sort of arrangement because there is a ridge line they're going to slow slightly be kinked back. They can be defended. Oh, they can be deployed further along the route. That's not bad. So you guys behind the trenches, you two cavalry stakes. Dragoons on the left, general on the centre. Actually maybe maybe cavalry on the right, because that's where the bulk of their cavalry is. Ulans, Ulans, Ulans. These are nine pounders. But yeah, we want to conserve ammunition because I've noticed in Napoleon ammo is a <laughs> you run out of ammo much more quickly than you run of any run out of anything else. The cavalry's advancing. More than welcome to advance. It's just 
It just means they're going to die sooner. Especially unsupported. Yep, so we've got our first shots off. Dismounted five horses, and they're probing our flanks with their cavalry. Just forming a line. So there is a gap. Not the edge, but if needs be, these two will form square. Target the guns to be target. Okay, both of you Glorious barrage this unit of Ulans. So they don't get any ideas. I was enticing them particularly on the left. This windmill. Okay, they're deploying. So let's go over here. Good job, they are getting shot to pieces. It's gonna. It's gonna I don't want to entice, I want to shoot these guys in square, but don't want to provide too tempting of a target. And as long as they run past my guns, good. So this flank run weakest. Just for my safety, I'm probably going to switch one of these guys to square. reforming and I'm going to get shot to bits by all of my infantry on my line. Go again after the Lancers. Fifty-six of them. Cover on the left have retreated. Cover on the right remains a threat. Cover on the left. Let's get them shot to pieces. If we can break the cavalry, well, I want to see where the reinforcements come from. But I'd like to try and turn this flank more like this. Run my gunners in the centre of the square. Because these squares are big enough to allow that. Okay, big push on the right. assume for the time being. Oh god, okay. Oh, 
rise up, man. Shit, I didn't even Jesus out of there. Let's assume for the moment we are safe enough to do something with this. Which we are not. If anything, we want to do quite the opposite. Where are our big gaps? Okay, pivot my line backwards as this unit advances. Broken, so it's allowed to continue to be effective. Especially when they're so combined like this. Go for the general staff, he's looking a bit crazy. Still Lance is coming in. General Star's been knocked back. Good stuff. Come on. Oh, it is you. Okay. Barrage into the Swiss line. So they've got. Caught by my cavalry spikes yet, but there's a lot of cavalry coming in. Regiment, militia regiment clears off. To be honest, let's start, let's start the pivot now. We're going to start rolling up this flank so we can start to focus on where the new threat's coming from. Good, lots of cavalry dead from spikes, and there'll be even more where that came from. So, I thought we just jumped over them. Our men are running for Ah, that's our gunners. That's actually a loss. should be enough to deal with these guys for some reason these black runs because couldn't form square yep yeah, they've lost a lot of cavalry even more cavalry coming in. To be honest, while this while this is all cavalry, it's tempting just to put these guys by default into square, although they're not they're allowed to form square. Infantry. 
We have killed their general, sir. Now they must pray. Group of generals been killed. Also had to be charged by a bunch of cavalry who knocked out my own square. Okay, these guys are friendly firing. My artillery is friendly firing my own troops. Yeah, for some reason these guys can't form. Because this guy's bugged on the top, is it? because for some reason they couldn't form square. So these guys will stay in square. Good, they routed, so let's push. Push these guys out like that. Let's take out that last unit. Company get into square. Awesome, he doesn't come back. So he's going to like infantry ready to form square against the other Austrian remaining troops. Or we snipe at this regiment of horse, which has routed. Goes out of square, so you don't waste all your ammo. Some of these guys are going to start running out of ammo pretty quickly. Like you, you're wasting it shooting it to hill. You probably the same. Reinforcements coming in. So let's deploy Erlax Bridge into this militia regiment. You guys actually stop firing, going with melee. Save your precious bullets. Okay, push up this line. Ready to engage. These guys charge out. To be honest, I may, some of these guys I may as well just charge them into. Ooh. Well, that's where the other reinforcing armies coming from. That's a bit of a bug, isn't it? Everyone clear the square. Get out of the square formation and retreat. Continue driving on. Dragoons took a station on that hill in the distance. Get into position with Xbridge. These guys just storm straight on into these Hungarian fusiliers. Brunswick is still in square. So there should be more than enough to handle the Cheval Leger for now. Come on, Bob. Good. 
That just goes to form a line. These guys do have ammo, but there's just not much of it. Our remaining, remaining artillery is still available. You guys all form square. Change your mind. Units has used all its ammunition, sir. So you've used your ammo. Get behind your line. You guys try to make the mast boys and cause these other guys to rout. I don't want to run. Lots of land there, lots of chaff. Probably better if I considered, considered redeploying my infantry for long before now. And bring you guys up rapidly. You guys, fire wood is not even on. So, do I do know I've got my dragoons at the back? I'm just waiting for the right time to use them. Go take out that fusilier unit, it's going to cause problems behind the line. Let's bring Axbridge around on that flank. Ah. British Dragoon smash! Boys, fusely mounted. Heavy cavalry reporting. God, they're pouring over the line, aren't they? One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Revolutionary guard. These guys are walking. I need to leg it, sir. Throwing my melee troops into combat. Throw them in. Just roll on. as we're running to do something more effective on the charge than the effort would be not. Bring my cavalry back. Push up the line. As big a block as this, we should be able to do some reasonable damage. Really. 
just go straight on. Your colonel, your general, demands continuous assault. And you didn't have any either, so just join join the swarm. Understandable. They charged the square. They attempted to charge the square. So these guys don't have much ammo. Hopefully follow. So we do have another reinforcing army. We need it. Which I think we will. Troopers get in there, I suppose. Maybe all of you. Your, these guys are all, all, all we need to take on that unit. So it's going One to of our us. units has used all its ammunition, sir. Of course they have. There's no ammo anywhere these days. What I'm asking for is the complete destruction of this British army. Out. Pull my guns back. It's, it's not inevitable, but it's not surprising. No, don't charge the backs of your own men. Charge the front of your men. Then rally. Inspire your troops by your example. General Staff, sir. General Staff, our men are running to them. Yeah, very understandable. Into the German fusiliers, shot them up. Or attempt to anyway. Which was, are you retreating a good direction? That's a really long way to get to the edge of the map. Keep where is, well, I want to keep Crawford safe. Inspire your men. Just charge straight through. Get as many of them as you can. Charge into these general fusiliers. Where did these chaps come onto the field? Keep charging on.
He's only light foot. So my infantry should cut right through him. Let's get the artillery all together. All the generals back. Let's get the British Dutch line infantry in a position to cover to cover the guns. Maybe something like Stay back. This is my general for risky business. of artillery is going to make it onto the battlefield. Varying levels of usefulness. Okay, let's try to extricate Uxbridge in particular. And let's make this unit shatter. Running for and limber the guns. Come on, you should have infantry entering the battle. Royal Marines, no less. need to limber up. We need to get somewhere more possible. Beat a tactical retreat. Come on, Bob. Let's get you safe and sound. So we'll be we'll be good here. I just want to get these houses safe. I don't necessarily want to keep them. Okay, run in yeah, run in at an angle. Just try and stay safe. That's a really frustratingly placed hay cart. Speed up time a little bit. Because nothing's really happening. You and Limber. So the bottleneck is going to be the speed at which my foot guards are entering the battlefield. Which isn't bad. Here comes the Black Watch. So I'm probably going to want another unit on the wing. To, oh, I don't know. Actually, we're pounding the hell out of them.
targeted fire go for this stronger unit. Let's put the Black Watch on the flank. These guys I'm not so bothered about because they can just. Okay, hold on, let's get back to normal speed. So you two go for this one on the flank. You two go for this guy that's coming right at us. Oh, barraging like. Oh, the screen's gone black. And it's back. Keep on pounding. Island foot unit. Come out, on the, come out on the flank to support this infantry unit. Yeah, if they're going to get funky, everyone just aim forward. It's the 48th, not just any infantry regiment, 48 foot. So are there any really good positions? Not really. Pull them back a little bit to make sure they're not too outgunned. And if these Austrians don't get a move on, they're going to find themselves surrounded by primo quality British stock. Let's put, you, put these Scots out on the flank. from the Royal Marines and the Highlanders. Good. Trying to form that line, but I don't think they can work out how the best formation might keep... To be to my retreat. My British Dutch. We've run out of ammo. We've got nothing going for them. And all they're doing is stopping me from recruiting superior line infantry. Run straight at them. Which is frustrating. You've lost a few guys from the delay. But you'll pour fire into German fusiliers, and that will be the end of that. Selected them. Charge up, keep the cavalry on the flank to make sure they stay honest. This was a valiant effort on the point of the Austrians, however, I fear it will be futile. Futile, not futile. Going to a bit of a defilade, so my artillery is not going to do as much good as it would normally do. Some mass bang charge. I would advise against it if so. We're going to go in against the rear elements. Advance these guys up to deal with the annoying square formation that just won't quit. Poor souls. Going to get shot to pieces by Royal Marines.
as soon as my cavalry touches them, they're broken. Crawford into the mix and Brerisford. Let's teach these traitors. Well, they're not, they're not traitors because they're not my eyes. But let's teach these swines what happens when they try to fight against the crown. These dragoons have got an absolute sweet spot because they're managing to rake in lots of kills. They're already very experienced troops. I imagine you get lots of kills to increase their rate, their experience, without actually having to. Man, I was very keen with him. With old Bob. That's the end of it. So let's hold on my guns. Continue, because these chaps are the reinforcing army. Ooh, let's not keep on this. Chase them down. Chase down these. Yeah, this unit's bigger. German fusiliers. Go on, Bob. Have at it. I'm hoping my weak and general staff can get enough kills to start getting some chevrons. Good stuff. I might actually have it on triple speed because does Bob not want to kill? Black Bob has turned over a pacifist leaf, has he? Let's keep on this one. It's probably faster and more visually appealing. Rory does not want to chase him down. Try them then. Does mean some of them will escape, but meh. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. Like a meat grinder. Keep on keep on keeping on. Because it's stuff people will will successfully manage to escape. These dragoons that have been the most successful to date. No, that's a militia unit, don't care about that. Bob found someone he actually wants to kill. No, he hasn't. Like, I'm clicking this unit right here. He does have his weapons up as for a charge. I must have maybe clicked one particular unit that's just routed at that particular moment. Go after them. We're just about to route the edge of the map. You're still chasing them. You're still chasing them. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. No, they rest when our enemies are dead. There can't be that many men left. God, God, these are. Oh, they're all over there in that big cluster. Well, they're being clever. Well, these men aren't being clever. They managed to route all the way up to the line and then away from it at the very last moment. And that's going to cause their doom. Not that I'm complaining. Good. Go after them. They're all doing it. And the good job these are on my cavalry spikes rather than enemy ones. So you can just hop over them for days. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. So 
got some more commands, does. Come on, just chase him down and kill him. Six men remaining. Just kill those six men. Five. Four. Hey, I can commit my other cavalry. My entire cavalry force to the murder of two men. Two pri well, not prisoners, not surrendered. They're running away. Chop. Chop. There. I wondered why these militia well, my cavalry had stopped running. I guess my it was Black Bob screwing it up. He made it made it look like they hadn't killed them all. Fortunately, their leading elements are much closer to the front line. So these guys will probably make it out in fairly good order, although we're doing some good damage to them. Lots of experience gains. And this is gonna be the guy that touches home base. Not really Pyrrhic. Or Ferric. Going to have well, as always, we've usually got more men. We can suffer more casualties than they can. So let's knock them back. Let's knock them back. Peace with Prussia? No. No peace? There can be no peace. But yours is ours. That's what we're going to say, and I don't like that one bit. I mean, we are at war with Riv. Russia so I mean to be honest they might be sailing that around to capture Corsica to finally knock the French out I mean fair enough if France if if uh, the Russians really have that much of a inkling to kill Napoleon then then have have at it you know Portugal don't declare we are allies, but still don't trust them. Okay, lots of good upgrades. I think that means... Yep, it's Michael Stowell. You go to... Here. Because he can then push off the north bank and go hit Moldova. Then we'll have the Prussians surrounded. So this army is the one. Yeah, Uxbridge got absolutely pasted. Unfortunately, we'll to, these guys will have to lift the siege and fall back. But you guys can make the siege and conduct the final attack. Um, however, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the fall of Budapest. Thanks, guys.